the Digital Dental Academy podcast, sponsored by 360 Visualize. Yeah, so well, welcome everybody. So welcome everybody to the uh, latest podcast uh, by the IDDA. Uh, today we find ourselves in Liverpool at Robbie Hughes' amazing uh, new practice in the headquarters of Skin Lab UK. Um, the very first certification course for a, a skin uh, with Livia and uh, it's a great privilege for us to be here with them and a great privilege to have them with us on the IDDA. Yeah, we're absolutely delighted to be here actually. It's been a fantastic course for what we've seen so far. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, Skin Love UK setup and your motivation behind it and what, what drives you and what, what got this going, how it all came about? Yeah, so the idea with behind um, Skin Lab UK is it's a full digital protocol from start to finish for the workflow, um, small makeovers and re rehabilitations. Um, it's something myself and Tia have been working together on as a as a team um, within our own practice. Olivia. Thanks to Livio, about two two years ago we two years. we began this journey and Livio's made many trips over, over to Liverpool to to teach us personally in the, in the workflow and help us develop that. Um, to put into our daily practice so we thought it was about time that we now that we have the facility for the education here in Liverpool we can start to run the courses and obviously utilize T's lab in Ellesmere Port and that's where um, Skin Lab UK is set up to provide the the education and then obviously the the lab facility for the certified dentists. It's a great concept to have it all in one building as well as I think the um, the thing that I liked most of all yesterday was um, I think you were explaining the view as well, the both of you, where the whole setup really is a, a totally probably more conventional to the sort of things you've had over in um, Brazil from what you've shown us, but over here in England everything's very clinical and everything's um, the traditional, you know, patients in out, the patient sees the dentist, there's no care, that there's no um, emotion. And the way that you set the place up is, is a, an unconventional way to bring a whole new patient journey in. So tell us about that, how you, how you devise what you've done with the place. Um, first of all, thank you so much for having us and the podcast. Um, really the idea behind is uh, to bring to dentists uh, a different role that he plays, but he sometimes doesn't even realize. So there are two many types of patients that will knock your door or call your office. One that has pain and one that wants a smile makeover. You want to change the smile. So uh, uh, we're going to create a third one which, which will be the future trend that will be prevention as we already spoke about. But let's just take here, focus on those two. If we, they call for pain, pretty much is what people are doing today. But if they call for, uh, for statics, uh, they are calling you because they want to change their life, they want to change their appearance, they want to change their self-confidence. So there is a lack of understanding from dentists first about psychological knowledge. So a couple of books important to, to understand self-esteem and self-confidence. Mm -hmm. This is important to, to the research. Uh, understanding why the patient, why people change their, their visuals, why they why they dress, why they go to, you know, following the styles and why they do tattoos. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's also a very nice book called Under the Skin. So, it, it, it's, it's, it's why. <laughs> with, with, with I, with I. <laughs> so, I, I wanted to bring to dentists, um, first of all, to, to screen, to select and, and have two different protocols for a patient. When they come for pain, when they come for sex, total different things. And physically, uh, as his office, uh, we, I had a chance and uh, honor to, to work with Robbie and T. We were discussing. We had to place here not only his practice, but also a practice that is prepared from the architectural point of view to receive these two patients. Mm -hmm. So if you enter, uh, if you take the right aisle, this is pretty much treatment mm -hmm. where we are now. If you take the left aisle, there are some other private rooms or some uh, uh, reception area that could be easily divided people that are coming for a smile makeover and the room that we are using for the education which is the skin education center in the UK 
uh, is the same room that uh, when it's, there's no course that uh, Robbie can use to pretty much uh, speak with the patient that has three different environments. One is the presentation, so he's got the TVs there. Uh, second is the studio, so we can have the studio set up constantly there. And third, a dental chair or a nice chair to, to place the mock-up. So pretty much the first visit becomes, if they call for a smart makeover, becomes a design session. It's just to listen to the, from the patient, their desires, their concerns, their chief compliance. And then cap capture all the information to send them to the skin lab. So there are two skin labs, uh, if, we, if we think physically, one is the, an arm of the skin lab here inside the office because we run the courses and we don't want to be running back and forth to the production lab to, to get the, the, the veneers. Mm -hmm. uh, and the production lab means it's a lab that T is running um, and it's here also uh, close by. And this lab now is prepared to produce this type of service and restorations for the community that will uh, be certified. So we are in the first certification course uh, for the skin, uh, and then we had a skin at the beginning of the phase uh, focused on CELEC, biocopy mode, built in the mouth. And now uh, this is already for years uh, evolved for a full, full digital, and these after this reached this point, now we can certify really people in a full digital protocol. So this is really the first one to bring them to this level so they can, from distance, uh, without any impression, any model, do the whole case. I think I'm, I'm going to add something which we didn't, we didn't talk about, that, a question I'm going to ask. I think it was something which I'd say from the course so far, the two days, for me personally, um, I mean, I, I do a load of things anyway, and it's given me some great ideas, but the course itself, I think, is really nice that it's been open to people who have no idea, and it begins with the journey in digital smile design, people who have been doing that was with all sorts of different things with the digital journey, and making that better. Um, but I think that the, the main thing is, when everything that I've looked at before with digital smile design, and something really which is, is really the core of what you've done with the skin concept, for me, is it's making it easy and approachable for a dentist to join in with. So it's not something which, the pay, you know, a lot of dentists that you speak to, obviously if they go on some DSD courses or whatever, then, you know, they, they feel happier because they've done a lot of stuff, there's a lot of education with it. But if it's just that one single picture, the one single scan, then it's easy, it's simple, and they get all of that information, and it's it's not threatening for the dentist to try and get involved into. Do you understand what I mean? And yeah, it's, it's worth a lot, actually. I think, yeah, I think you know, the main thing that Linda did highlight, what's amazing about it, is that it's not something that you have to adopt completely. So you start with the first stage, when you have the confidence with that, you can move to the next stage, but it's a very easy to follow workflow, and I think that's really what makes it and steps it, uh, you know, aside from all yeah. the complicated things that we find out in the, in, in the profession all the time. We, we had to start from somewhere. So 2010 uh, was the first uh, DSD course we did in Brazil, uh, 2009, 2010, uh, with Christian, me and Christian, with that we started to develop all this. And then if we think eight years ago or seven years ago, when we started the courses, uh, of course, we were doing DSD before, uh, and, and, and was not uh, nearly close what it is today. Today, not only you have the dedicated apps mm -hmm. and software, but you can also do it in a very simple way, which I showed you. This means uh, it's very important to understand the role of, of a 2D smile design. It doesn't matter if you use a special software or not. A 2D smile design in the beginning was what we had to really communicate with the patient on the first visit. Mm -hmm. Trying to sell or make the case to be accepted uh, by a, a quick, uh, the very first visit with a, with a short period of time. What we found over the years is that uh, the successful rate, the, the case acceptance rate, was bigger when they would see a video and not even photos of the before and the mock-up. Mm -hmm. This is for the patients, patients that are coming for statics. 
There's also a big concern of our side uh, that statics definitely goes together with function. And this is why recently with Gustavo Vernaza from Argentina, we, we also made a fusion of a skin concept and patho, which is his concept for occlusion. That is coming from uh, Anibo Alonso as well. So Bernaza brought uh, a security for us, so we can now approach statics. And I'm using the statics because this is the language that the patient understands and speaks with the dentist in common. That's it. They don't understand implants, they don't understand grafts or crown lengthening or ortho, or the, they understand statics. So let's take the patient, open the door to speak with them, receive them here if they want to change their smile, but then through statics we are able to sell the functional side, which will be more elements, maybe you have to raise the bite. The um, simplicity of it as well, which is the skins and the 3D. And then if we are looking that, if, if we understand that designing a before and after in a computer is not as efficient as a patient wearing a mock-up, mm -hmm. and we know to place a mock-up, First, you have to build the, the, the WhatsApp and doing the virtual WhatsApp, printing a model. Uh, the accuracy is so high that all this process that was more complicated in the past now is much easier. If this is easier and works better, why should I run a risk of spending one hour in a computer or spending even minutes to simulate a Photoshop alike? Uh, which is not going to be, I know it's not going to be as efficient as a movie, dynamic, that they can talk, they can speak, they can smile. And in the video, we also capture uh, their own emotions. So when they see themselves projected with a new smile for the first time on a moving dynamic video compared to the before video, and then you have this tool to stop the videos independently and go frame by frame addressing their concerns, I think this is, this is too powerful not to do. So uh, this is the stage we are today. And it's also a matter for consent, predictability, because you know, we're promising anything. You, you can feel confident in the lab as well, see, the, when oh, you design them, you know, that you're not going to end up with you know, Robbie coming back to you and saying, look, you know, we've done this, but this isn't going to work. So. It's much more predictable result. You, I mean, we can guarantee that if we follow the protocol, that's what it's all about. High predictability, high quality, supernatural forms, and an easy to follow protocol. So for every digital dentist, if they want to achieve that, sort of give this nice result to the patient, it's perfect. You know, as you, as you saw it yesterday and today, the course is like uh, full of, full of uh, ideas for you to take home. Uh, Loads of stuff to learn, and uh, you come back home after this course quite confident, I believe, so you can, you know, Absolutely. follow it and do it. Another another area that we did a lot of uh, spent a lot of time, especially in the last year, last twelve months, was uh, really to simplify how this information goes to the lab, yes. and this is why we had to create the skin lab. The skin lab is not because we wanted just to start a lab business. It's a, it's, it's a necessity to really create a lab that is totally, totally different from the perspective of communication, from the role of a technician. A technician now is needed and will be always needed, more than ever, because I, I really believe on a lab side system uh, rather than like a chair side for, for most of the dentists. Yeah. There are some few profiles that, I, that the chair side would be very nice. Chair side is a nice thing if it would be um, more controllable, or if it would be faster, if it wouldn't take from you a lot of time. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. see that the chair side system really drives a lot of time from the dentist and they need to learn a lot of the concepts from the technician. Yeah. So why not uh, focus on each yeah. one's uh, strength? and then having that as a, uh, as a combination. So the lab now, it's much easier for them to create the mocha, the virtual mocha, because of the, the forms. He doesn't care about morphology, uh, he cares about adjusting that morphology to the patient's needs or to your needs. Yeah. But it's much easier, more predictable, it's faster with the 3D printers. So basically, we... Yeah.
Yeah, you've got that level of quality control as well, you know, you've got a certified dentist with a certified lab following the same protocols with every case, you know, your results are pretty much guaranteed as long as you're communicating them, you know, along the way. And the communication is very easy as you saw, you know, simple steps, just don't deviate, you know, follow the steps and you get to the end. Yeah. That's the overall cost really has just been yeah. simple, compact. Yeah. Simplicity is key. It is an evolution, isn't it? Yeah. It's very nice. On a, it, uh, it, it, it's predictable. Uh, yes. What you want and what you decide involving the patient on this decision, which is very important for me, is one of the main points is that this system allows the patient to choose the style. Yeah. Not choosing the tooth, they're choosing the style. Yeah. And this, is, uh, this became for us uh, when we are treating the patients in our office in Brazil, in Brazil we have the dental office, lab and education center, and we see patients uh, extremely happy because they, they at the end they say, I design my smile, <laughs> and this is, this is powerful. And I think I wanted to add to this as well, is that it's always been a problem to get your mock-up as a final uh, definitive restoration, and this is I think where Skin has, has nailed it, is you can do your mock-up and that mock-up can be designed as a final restoration yes, that's, without that's the, the whole I think that is the key. Yeah. 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 That's the key. Because then the patient communication, the patient pathway is, is, is solid. You know, exactly. The patient exactly. signs up the mock-up. Because previously you, you always struggle to get your mock-up because the patient sees the mock-up and they like that, but then when you get your final restorations, there are slight differences it's, between it's, that. It's, it's CAD CAM, which is the plan for that. Mm. that yeah, because, yeah, because, yeah, because it's, it's digitally driven. All yeah. it's, just, you know, it's, it's, it's fully CAD, not yeah. different blocks that you, you take and stuff on another machine. And mm. If I could highlight the points of the whole concept, the patient is part of the concept. The communication is totally uh, unique. unique. Um, the same design as a mock-up will be provisional, will be the final because it's a digital file, mm -hmm. and and then the the speed uh, that we can do. See, we're we're here uh, doing really doing the case in two days, like in 24 hours could be done even less. Yeah. You can do the same day, but depending on the conditions. But really, we are taking our time to make sure that you can see. We have to slow down. So you can enjoy each simple step of the process. Yeah. If we do this without having to teach, it's 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 just unbelievable, yeah. quick. <laughs> but even in a situation where you haven't got the benefit of having the technician in the building, so they can physically yes. look at, it, at, at the skins, it's still very very predictable, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is because of this digital communication. Nothing changes. I mean, the the predictability is there, whether I'm there or whether I'm in the lab. You know, it's yeah. still the same. Because we communicate through tools and through basically STLs, you know, by sending it to you or sending a markup, and it's staying the same if we follow the protocol. This is, this is so, uh, Livio, sorry, sorry um, one of the big parts um, of, of the IDVA is, is charity, and, and mm -hmm. we're supporting. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but we have decided a while ago that we're going to support charity. It's called Loving by Giving. Um, and a percentage of all of the uh, membership fees goes towards the charity and you are also involved in charity yes. in Brazil as well so can you tell us a little bit about it and you know there's a big divide between first world and third world in the same country sure. so let us know a little bit about your charity work as well I think uh, dentists in general are, are really open for charity first uh, although I don't I don't know a dentist unless very few, maybe there are, but I don't know any dentist that I that crossed my life that I, a patient couldn't afford, and he at least wouldn't find or or struggle to find a way that the patient could pay him or pay the basics or pay the lab. But depending on the person, the dentists is, they, they try to help, they try to treat the patient, and and so based on this uh, hard style, if we can say. Uh, what we are, of course, we do a lot of education and we need the patients suitable for courses. Uh, but I try to always to combine people that need and couldn't pay or cannot pay. Uh, we're giving the very highest level of education and treatment for people that cannot pay. This is beautiful. Uh, it, it is charity. 
but we are officializing a new program for Skin. Uh, it's going to be called Skin Live Brazil, and this is really where charity is going to come very strong. Which I have the make a big difference. The main thing is that people is not going to be a course, so participants will not pay for this, <laughs> and, but they have to be invited. And uh, the, the the criteria is that they people that are doing skins. So uh, why? Because the concept is very is very strong. And we know that through this concept, I am extremely confident to come to a community and treat that city or treat people that needs in a, in a very quick time and giving them high quality uh, aesthetics and function. So if we go to any other way or flexible projects and systems and all, no control. So this way, I'm confident that we can come, help quick, in and out. And besides of that, uh, among the people that will be doing this program, will be exchanging knowledge. But there's no cost. You pay your own cost. Food and the adoption thing, and all yeah. sorts of different ways. You can help. After that, process. yeah. Now, ideally, after that is a program that I had in my mind for many, many years, is uh, to adopt a, a, a child <laughs> um, or a teenager. But it's a different adoption. It's an adoption by distance today with the uh, social medias, uh, and I think this is where we have to use Facebook and Instagram and all that. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Facebook. A lot of things are from fake. Yeah. Yeah. It's like those trips on, on, a, on a ship. Everybody <laughs> eats very well, they dress well. That's not the real life. No. But anyway, you can adopt uh, your patient that you treated uh, because. For the patient to be in the program and to be treated by you, we have to screen this patient before and make sure that this patient is ready for the treatment. So all kind of uh, prof prophylaxis and uh, all the conditions we have to take care of. And we have to make sure the patient will be there when you are there. Mm -hmm. So this means we lock them in by also uh, creating a program that helps the whole family, which is a, 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 a box of food that the family receives because the patient is in the treatment plan, is in the plan. Besides that, he needs to have average in school. And um, my whole big dream is that then he has school and he has to train Capoeira. Maybe future dance is in school as well. <laughs> yeah. so I think it's about inspiring you know. everybody, isn't exactly. it? And also just, uh, Livia was saying, it, you know, it's not a big uh, commitment from anybody. It's about what thirty thirty dollars a month or something 30, that feeds 30, the whole 30 family. Thirty euros, about thirty 40 euros a month feeds the whole family for a year. You know, yes. and as long as that child goes to school every day, mm -hmm. attends the disciplinary, um, you know, the martial arts that uh, Livia offers with him as well, then they'll be stuck with you, and um, you'll be able to take the journey with them. I think it's a beautiful idea. Well, as a even capoeira, as a capoeira master, it's my job to to also help capoeira, mm -hmm. uh, as I don't. Teach that don't leave from this. So uh, my master Sampaio and the whole community in Brazil and many of the other masters that I that I've been with, um, capoeira is not seen as a premium martial art. It's kind of a always being uh, yeah always being like treated differently. So um, it, it's it's a philosophy. It's a life philosophy, and then only when you get to know it better. Uh, here in London, you have uh, Master Ponsonino, and this is a, the, one of the very best in the world. And he is in London, so lucky him, he's here in the first world country teaching capoeira. We are, we are very proud of this. As him, we have so many others in Europe and in the United States. So, why not if this young guy that you're treating today uh, becomes and trains capoeira, becomes older? And maybe after, maybe at the age of, that they can come to university, you can even uh, support. You can, you know, because of the relationship, well, you can invite them. They yeah. can, uh, can teach me start to yeah. 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 learn yeah. a profession yeah. and teach capoeira. Why? You can teach these two capoeira. Well, start it. <laughs> As it well, well, worry about the capoeira. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. As soon as we start, we have to take a break for a month. Yeah, the bruises. <laughs> but one of the things that I want to really highlight here for the podcast is the, the, the group that you guys are putting together. I've very recently invited, I want to express, I think, in the name of us three, 
our gratitude and, and so happy to be part of this so so because welcome. really it's not easy to find uh, entities like that. It is not uh, that is unbiased, that is uh, not driven by companies, uh, it's not only looking for political status or you know, so ego. This, yeah. this is the type of, uh, of, of groups that I'm really interested in and I'll give I the best I can give everything that well, whatever we can collaborate it'll be a pleasure. You've very nicely you. led on to the next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, was that me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. So, you uh, the question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the next question we were going to say was um, the you've already mentioned a couple of things, and obviously there's more than you can probably say in a few minutes. But just some of the things that you can tell the listeners, the things that you guys want to bring the three of you to the IDDA on both the website resources for members, uh, and also as well what you're going to bring. Later in the year, November at the conference, um, you know we're, we've announced a little bit, but we're going to do the brochure where it's listing everything properly. That you guys are going to be doing the opening lecture, which is fabulous. So, opening lecture. Yeah, and tell us what you <laughs> Big responsibility. <laughs> well, we're delighted to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, well, it, it is always a challenge. A lecture is always a challenge. Every time you go to lecture for five people or five thousand people, if you don't feel that. <laughs> then you're not prepared. So always uh, it's a challenge, a challenge because none of your speech will be will be the same. And uh, I think for me, uh, when I'm lecturing, uh, immediately what I uh, my performance depends on how the crowd is receiving, mm -hmm. without even saying a word. I know. I know by expressions, I know by capturing the audience. So when we when we communicate in this uh, higher level that is not just one of our senses or five senses, uh, then you know whoever is teaching uh, gets extremely excited. You all teach, so that uh, on a small scale. <laughs> so it's no, no, it's like uh, so. Uh, when we go to this uh, level of association and it's international. I think it's uh, it's our job for everyone that's involved to really take this to people that will never be able to afford a, 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 a life course like this. Mm -hmm. It's it's money. It's it's financial uh, limitations. Yeah. Not that they don't want to. Yeah. So this is why I decided also to deploy uh, free of charge uh, through the association uh, on on channels that we can really uh, just uh, give information. Yeah. Now, uh, so I want really to, to share uh, with people that maybe in my life will not be able to meet me too, so I can uh, work with them or yeah, learn from, from them or Africa. teach from them everywhere. everywhere. Even Brazil yeah. is too big. 220,000 dentists yeah. Yeah. and 132 dental schools every year. We deploy 10,000 new dentists in our market. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how yeah. can it's we teach all that to yeah. those people? Yeah. Uh, one thing with uh, skin uh, is also uh, it's a more democratic uh, dentistry. Everybody has access now to those morphologies. Mm -hmm. It's not depending on T scans. He has, mm -hmm. He's a great technician. He can create beautiful morphology, but how he can service the whole world is impossible. Mm -hmm. yeah. But people now from different countries, different skin labs, can use teeth pick of teeth combined with from different people and creating his own set, his own design, not by morphology itself, but by getting 90-95% of the natural morphology, giving some touches, but also combining these sets of smiles that he understands is very nice as an inspiration for the patient or for the dentist. And then from that on, customization for each one. I think um, one thing, just as a little fun thing, I might do is um, something I, I get every now and again. I get patients who say, "Oh, you've got really nice teeth." I think yeah. my front teeth are yeah. quite big and like bulky, but they say that. So what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to scan skin. them and make some skins from my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And then uh, if they want my smile, they can have my smile. <laughs> 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 I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> <your own laughs> yeah. All the berry, all the berries are there with my <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You'll know when you come to berry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a great challenge ahead of you. Yeah. I hope 
uh, the society, the association uh, can survive the way you guys created. Mm -hmm. uh, your future, the people that will talk, take over in the future, yeah. they must follow this, and and you can you have to be incorruptible about yeah. this at all. I mean, there's no money, no temptation, no vanity yeah. that will take you out of this. And if you, it's not easy to create groups. No. <laughs> I, I can say it's not easy, but um, uh, we all know that without the group, we couldn't. I couldn't be here. I, I don't represent my own head here. It's a lot of people that made this possible, and this is the new group. This is the Skin family today is a new group. Uh, what is uh, happening now is that I have to think of the mistakes I have done, the mistakes they have done, and not to. to so we are now protected. Uh, as we create new groups. So we are now a, a group and I want everybody as watching this to, to whoever identifies themselves to these values. Uh, good people are much more, in the number is much higher than the, the bad guys. Yeah. But the bad guys are always on, 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 the, on the spotlight. So. <laughs> Well, we know how we've done yeah. it. <laughs> well, I think very strict policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think that wraps it up beautifully, actually. Yeah. I mean, we, we've been delighted to be here. Fantastic to, to so see your, your beautiful setup here and yeah, the way you can you can and work, work together and, and mm -hmm. how the skin concept works and also how the skin lab works together. So, so I think we. On behalf of all of us, uh, just thank to say you thank much. you really. It's yeah. been a great thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right. The Digital Dental Academy podcast, sponsored by 360 Visualize.